Hey, I'm Sam and I do design and in the video today, I am rushing this intro so I can open up this, my custom design glasses with Bantam Frameworks. In the last video, you saw my whole process from start to finish up until the point that I sent off the finalized files to Bantam Frameworks where they hand make the glasses in Scotland. That video covered everything from sketching rough in Procreate to importing that into Illustrator and refining it, all the way through to modeling the glasses in Shaper 3D on the iPad. So if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out over here. And without further ado, this video is all about Banton Frameworks hand making the glasses in Scotland. Over to you. So there it is, that is the footage of how these glasses were made. I haven't seen that footage yet, so I'm really excited to check that out later on. And without further ado, let's open up this box. Also, I'd like to point out this very nice handwritten message from Jamie and Lucy, the co-founders of Bantam Framework. So thank you very much for that. And here we go. The UK once produced over 5 million spectacle frames a year from an industry of nearly a thousand eyewear factories. Today, very few of those original factories remain. You've helped to change this because we're building a new one. And a very nice glasses cleaner as well. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Is that, is that what I'm meant to do? Very nice glasses cleaner, the BFW. And now for the main event. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so impressed with these frames. I cannot even begin to describe. And the fact that they've put a tiny little Sam Gwilt signature on the side is, um, I didn't know they were gonna do that, so that is a very nice surprise. The fit and finish of these are absolutely spectacular. So again, Jamie, Lucy at Banton Frameworks, thank you so much for making my dream come true. I should probably try them on. Okay, how do I look? I should have probably had a haircut. I've been speaking to Jamie from Banton Frameworks, the co-founder. And we both agree that the uh, the bridge, the gap between the, the nose pieces here is ever so slightly too wide on this pair. Now I fully hold up my hand and say, that is my fault for that. I sent them all the dimensions, all the files, and uh, it's just ever so slightly 
too wide, which means that these glasses sit ever so slightly too low on my face and they start to rest on my cheeks. Part of the reason is because whenever I modeled these in Shaper 3D, number one, uh, I only ever prototyped them with really flimsy paper uh, with some really terrible scissors that I used to cut them out. And number two, when I modeled them in, in Shaper 3D, I didn't account for the draft of the glasses front, so the front of the frames you can see here. And that means that the bottom of the glasses are pushed further into my face. I should have anticipated that and I didn't, I didn't account for it. So I also spoke to him saying, look, I can uh, not mention it in the video that they don't quite fit properly. I can skim over it. But what we decided is that it's best to show you that the design process doesn't always work 100% of the time, first time, every time. Sometimes there are teething problems. And because of that, you have to roll with the punches and adapt and improvise. Uh, that's just the name of the design game. I have ordered these uh, nose pads. And what that's going to do is just close the gap in between the bridge just a little bit and push them up on my face and they'll be nice and comfy. So these are a 1.5 millimeter little adhesive. I don't know which camera I should show most. That one, is it gonna focus on that? That's amazing if it focuses on that, I don't know. They're a little bit wide on the bridge. So what I mean by that is, let's see if we line them up. I think they're gonna be just proud on the front. So I wanna hide those a little bit. I think they're going to fit better like that. Okay, let's use that as a template and we'll try and match that. Okay, let's try those out again. So there it is, that is my custom glasses by Banton Frameworks. Thank you so much for this collaboration. I cannot express enough how much I really enjoy these. Thank you guys for watching as well. If you learn anything in this video, don't forget to comment down below because I love hearing about it. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and hit the bell button and everything else that YouTube asks you to do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.